I did not come back to the model table last night. Thought about it every once in a while, but as time went by, I just didn't feel like it. So I didn't. Now, read my comments this morning. I get two comments. First, well, actually I got several that I hadn't answered. And uh, I think it was four or five new ones that I hadn't seen before. And two of them indicated that uh, one, one fellow said that I, I put the the the, uh, the 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 gun casing on the magazines on backwards, and another guy said I had them on upside down. So I thought I, I better check this out. So, oh by the way, every everything is pretty much the way you saw it last night when I ended. So it's, we're just sort of carrying on. Now, when I'm, when I'm looking at this, it, yeah, it does appear. <laughs> yeah, I've got the, I've got the shells, the, the magazines on backwards. And, uh, you know what? If I had to done that on the, on the real Rodney, they'd have keel hauled me really fast. Well, let's, uh, I, you know what, at this point, the, uh, the glue is, is way too, too set. And the plastic is too melted together. And because that detail is, can only be seen when you're looking at it, you know, through these or, or the macro lens, nobody's going to notice that. And the only reason it was seen by the viewer is because you saw it through the macro lens, but just, you know, even with glasses like this, and uh, and these glasses, they focus in, this is the, this is about the best focusing distance for these glasses. I wear these a lot. My other glasses that I used to wear, they're kind of, oh, they, they, the wings kept breaking off, and I gotta go back to the dollar store. Wait, wait for the snow to melt. As soon as the snow melts, I'll get in my car and I'll go to the dollar store and get a bunch of dollar glasses. And, and anyway, yeah, and there's nothing we can do about this. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it. It's, it's too bad. I won't do it on the next five. I can assure you. At least I don't think I will. Uh, Oh, there, there is one thing that I did do after I pushed the stop button yesterday. I, I did take another little bit of, uh, of CA Thin and, and uh, just put another little dab of CA Thin on this back, back lower rail here. Uh, but otherwise, it, let's put the macro lens back on and uh, see if we can finish with, it, with this railing. And then, then I think basically... I don't think there's anything more to do uh, on these, and then I'm just going to have to go ahead and do the remaining five and get them get them done. Uh, you know, it's kind of fun to be videoing videoing one on camera, and uh, then you have to do like five more off camera. That's not quite as much fun, but it's relaxing. Yeah, it's relaxing. Now, if you happen to watch Saturday's episode, you'll remember that Saturday morning I went out and I put out fresh carrots and rabbit food for our rabbits. And I watched all day Saturday. Nothing came by. Saturday midnight, still nothing. Anyway, Sunday noon, it started to snow. <laughs> by late afternoon, Sunday, it, everything was buried and covered with snow. You couldn't even see where the carrots were anymore. And Monday morning when I got up, I checked the surveillance camera and I saw rabbit tracks. And I thought, hey, something came by. So I ran the camera back and to see what it was. And just before four o'clock, a, a rabbit had come by. It stuck its nose in the snow and turned and scampered off. I don't even think it took a piece of carrot. I think it just looked and left. <laughs> well, those ungrateful rabbits. Okay, I have my uh, 
stiff bristled brush here and I've got it out to remind me that uh, I have to get these fuzzies as uh, Mark put it from in between the uh, the uh, breeches and uh, yeah uh, I, I should have done this before now of course you I was going to say before I got the photo etch in but I, I really can't it's uh, well, I suppose maybe I could have um, and it, and they probably won't be as it, those fuzzies probably won't be as bad on the other five that I'm going to be doing because um, uh, I uh, won't be trying to take them apart where 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 those yeah they it got all stringy there when I pulled pulled the pieces apart to to put them together right if you remember I I did something wrong there I can't remember anymore what it was anyway I I don't think it'll be as bad on the on the next five but the bottom line is. I'm going to want to scrub these out of there uh, before I, I fasten this down onto the onto the base, because once it's fastened down onto the base, it's a little harder to scrub up and down. And it's and now is a real bad time to do it because the only thing that's holding this railing on is that CA glue that we've got right there on on the bottom. And uh, okay, now. Let me check my monitor. Did I knock this out of the field of view? Oh, it's still pretty good. Okay, I'm I'm thinking that right now I've got my holder downer going here, and I'm thinking that the maybe the smart thing to do would be to use the holder downer to hold this in place, and then actually I could probably do it right now. I think it's just about right there. Okay, and we'll put a, a tiny little bit of... Oh, I'm going to use a CA medium. And I'll just put it along this, this bottom rail right here. And then maybe a tiny little bit at the bottom of this post. Uh, can you see it? Let me check the monitor. Uh, I probably could have positioned better. Just let me move everything here. Okay, I'm, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to... Uh, reposition here. Okay, I only get one shot at this. My, my goal here is to hold that, that short railing down um, as best I can. In, in behind that in behind that box that I trimmed the corner off of. Now if it looks like I don't know what I'm doing here, it's because the holder downer is kind of in the in the way here. Okay, now for the post. You know what, it could be that post is not, it's not touching the plastic on the bottom and I'm going to have to sort of fill the gap here. Okay, I think I got it. Now if I don't bump anything, guessing about three or four minutes has passed here. I'm just going to put a little curing agent. I don't know if I'm getting it or not here. Is any coming out? Yeah, I've got some now. Let it wick its way down the post. Um, that stuff evaporates really quick. 
and it seems like there's uh, little or no residue. I can't remember, did I ever do a test on a microscope slide to see if there's any residue left? I should do that, and that'd be kind of fun. Okay, a couple of minutes or so has passed here, and I think it's probably going to be safe to lift this up. All right, now don't drop it. I'll swing this around. And we have to just just adjust my holder down here so that it not only pushes down, but it sort of pulls back a little bit here. I'd like to come back a little bit more, except then that post is going to be sort of off the edge. Um, let's just uh, let's just do it there. Uh, I realize the holder downer is just going slightly over top of your field of view here. to the platform. Yeah, I think I got it. Now, as long as it doesn't separate, it'd be nice if it would cure like that. I wonder if maybe I should have make it just a little bit more of a Okay, I'm guessing about five minutes has passed here. Now, about the fuzzies. I don't know if I can if I can get in there or not. I'm probably gonna have to do this off camera. Either that or you know what, Mark? Maybe on this one here, I'm just going to not get the fuzzies, but I'll do the, the remaining five the way I should have done this one. And and those fuzzies are so small that you're not going to see them anyway. I mean, I, I'm i looking at them right now with my strong glasses, and I'm not really seeing them unless, unless the light hits them just exactly right. Um, but I'm afraid that if I try to scrub them out of there, I'm going to break our railing off. And it, it is just very, very, you know, I'm probably going to end up doing it anyway. Well, I'm, going to, I'm going to try not to, of course. Um, there, you know those little fuzzies? I wonder what the diameter is of them. You know, how, how, how big are they? They're, they're smaller than a spider's web. Spider's web is, is uh, unless maybe a micro spider or something, a uh, spider's web is even a lot thicker than that. There is a way to measure those. And I, I could do it if I was to get a fragment of one, lay it on a microscope slide, photograph it under the microscope, and then and I think about, about a year ago I think I did something like that. Can't remember why, but uh, those of you who were, who were watching back then, you might remember, and I, I showed how you can use a microscope to measure something that is extremely small. Now, a lot of you probably already know how. Um, anyway... Um, I think we're basically done here. I think we're basically done. I can't think of anything else. Oh, we got to twist the gun sight straight here. All right, let's uh, move back in and mess up on that. Now the idea is that if you were, if there was a point, a point that was raised up here that you were looking along this way and through this thing you'd be looking out to where the barrels are pointing. And so I think the uh, way to go here is rather than try and twist it all at once, I think maybe I'll just do it in 
segments here and go about 30 degrees at a time. Okay, now I wouldn't have thought it would have turned the turntable, but it did. Okay, maybe about five degrees. I'm looking straight down on it. And uh, let me check the monitor. All right, let's swing this around now and do the other one the same way. Maybe the other one will go the opposite direction because it looks like it's bent. It's twisted forward. Should be leaning back a little bit. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Looks pretty good to me. Okay, a UK Jason. Thanks for reminding me. One more thing here. I was just about ready to scamper off to the computer room with my camera and I realized that we didn't do perspective here. No, just for perspective. A little while ago while I was working here at the model table I noticed movement in the surveillance monitor and I looked up and there were some birds flitting around the uh, bird feeder. Now I haven't seen too many birds this uh, winter. Uh, not like expected. I thought we were going to be getting quite a few, you know. They, they should be hungry, right? Uh, but, uh, I don't know. Maybe they fly south for the winter. Don't blame them if they do. Anyway, this one takes off and uh, he's got a little seed in his mouth. Or his beak. <laughs> It was just before noon this morning and I heard my mailbox rattle and I thought to myself, you've got mail. <laughs> that you've got mail, that used to be really popular here in North America. Uh, oh, what, about 25 years ago when the internet was st first starting up and I think it was America Online, that was their slogan, you've got mail. And in fact, I think there was a movie made called You've Got Mail. It seems to me my wife watched it and I sort of watched it along with her. Anyway, uh, yeah, I've got mail. So I go check it out. What have I got? Is it an early Christmas card from Tennessee Jim? <laughs> just kidding you, Jim, just kidding. And uh, anyway, yeah, now I was not expecting this, so it sort of threw me as a, a bit of a loop here. I wasn't expecting it for anywhere from uh, two to five weeks from right now, and I actually did check this morning. And according to Amazon, it wasn't going to be here for at least two weeks. So, you know, when I looked at it, I knew it was a book, but uh, yeah, it, it can't be the one I'm expecting. <laughs> anyway, we're going to have a book opening <laughs> I guess here in a few minutes. Um, yeah. Uh, all right. Let, let's let's just move along. Well, I was trying to figure out what town did it come from or what city. It doesn't say here. It's Book Depository, wherever they are. I'm pretty sure it was in the UK. So you can imagine. I'm surprised that it's here in. What, what, nine days? That's not bad. Just parcel post. Good old Canada post. Uh, anyway, um, in a way, I'm as excited as a kid on Christmas morning, and here's why. Uh, first of all, you know what? We better put this in a safe place. Okay.
and very, very gently here. Now, now this is what's happened. I'm going to be cutting this video off right away. And, and the reason for that is uh, I got a call from uh, Jared at iTech. And my new specially made for video editing computer is ready. So I've made arrangements for somebody to pick it up for me because right now my car looks like this. And uh, yeah. Uh, we'll have, a, we'll have a, uh, a, a book opening in, probably in tomorrow's video or possibly I'll work on it tonight, but I, I don't know if I will or not. I think I'm going to be too busy hooking up my, my new machine and uh, loading in my, my programs. Uh, are they called programs still, or do you call them applications now? Uh, so that would mean if you're a computer programmer, you're now a computer applicator? Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll look at this uh, in tomorrow's episode. And it is my intent to hang my camera up from overhead and I think I mentioned this, snap photos of the, of the pages and uh, let's do that tomorrow. I'm so excited I can't talk. Thanks for watching everybody and all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow.